see when I would kind of make that um, leap over, um, but it happened much earlier. Um, I had always kind of had a tendency to have a hair goal, and as soon as my hair reached that length, I would chop it off. Um, and especially, you know, when I would be going through things, I would feel like my hair was kind of weighing me down, and that was pretty much the situation um, when I went natural. Um, I just, you know, was doing my own um, perms at that point and I had a ton of new growth and I was just going through some things and I felt like okay I'm about to cut this off so um, basically that's why it was you know a little bit of before the the plan um, but that's kind of how it happened um, how long have I been on my healthy hair journey I would say you know pretty much like I said my whole life um, I have been on my natural journey, though, um, it'll be four years on July 25th. Um, are you relaxed, natural, or transitioning? I am fully natural. Fully natural. And that's what my hair is looking like right now. Um, what's your hair length now? Ooh, I guess I should have had my hair down, guys. Um... Maybe I'll show that at the end so I'm not looking a complete hot mess. Um, I did just get a haircut um, last Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. So barely over a week. Um, and I got really like off the back, I would say five to seven inches cut off. Um, just to kind of even out my shape and everything, but I would say like the front is probably to here, the back is probably to here, but I'll take my hair down at the very end of the video and show you. My hair length goal, what is your hair length goal? My hair length goal is really as long as my hair can get, and hopefully I will not get antsy. Like I said, I have a tendency to just kind of get to a point and chop my hair off and I've honestly been considering it right now. I kind of, you know, miss the carefree days of just having, you know, short hair and I'm not loving um, the haircut that I got. So that's kind of making me contemplate it as well. But I would honestly love to get to waist length hair. Um, what is your hair texture? I really don't know what that question means honestly um i feel like the texture of my hair is i don't know i don't know like this part is obviously frizzy you know all the time pretty much no matter what i have some tighter curls in the back some looser ones in the middle i guess i really should have done this video with my hair down guys sorry um so i'm not sure what my hair texture is that's it um do you prefer health or length? And I would say 50-50. <laughs> I mean, obviously I want length, um, but I want healthy hair as well. You know, you're not going to get long hair or retain length without having healthy hair. So I would say they're equal. Um, if you could only live with one hair product, what would it be? It would be my when, hands down. No thought needed. Um, if I had to pick a formula, that would be the hard part. It would be between the pomegranate and the fig. Probably leaning a little bit more towards the pomegranate. Um, I just love that stuff. And it truly cleanses your hair, conditions your hair. Um, you can use it as a leave-in. You can use it as a styler. So it is just all around goodness. And I love it. And, you know, I would love for it to be the only product that I use without having to make that choice, but I doubt that will happen. But that is definitely, um, you know, if I only had to live the rest of my life with one product, that when pomegranate would be it. Um, what's the worst product you've ever tried? That's a hard one. There hasn't been too many products that I tried that I absolutely hated or that just did something crazy to my hair um if I had to pick one I would probably say it would be the um honey child hair love leave-in conditioner just because it had like these chunks in it and I don't know if it was the coconut or I don't know what it was but it was like these 
white chunks that would not um, emulsify down. And it was just a horrible product in my opinion. So that would be it. What's your go-to hairstyle? My go-to hairstyle is definitely um, a wash and go. Um, that is what I rocked, you know, pretty much my whole um, journey when it did get long enough to do, you know, puffs and ponytails. I would do them occasionally just because I was so happy um, to have the length, you know, that my hair was actually going to go ahead and do that. Um, but for the most part, I rock wash and goes and buns but go-to hairstyle I would say has to be a wash and go um are you a product junkie guilty <laughs> i am a product junkie in um what i want to say in therapy in remission in uh recovery um i am using up my stash and i I guess I am still a product junkie, you guys. I mean, I put myself on a supposed no-buy three weeks ago, and I probably still bought some type of hair product at least once for each of those three weeks to the past month. I just love um, conditioner. I can't help it, so I buy a ton of conditioner. So I guess the answer is still yes. Um, how often do you trim your ends? Um, I wouldn't say that is like scheduled, I just kind of trim as needed. Um, because I just got my hair cut, um, I can't say that I will be trimming them anytime soon. And plus, I tend to get very scissor happy very, very easily. I will see curls all the time. Um, before I got my hair cut, I would say probably like five or six months leading up to my haircut, where I would just see curls that kind of look scraggly and I would just start cutting away and single strand knots don't even get me started so I get a little scissor happy so I mean a regular full head trim I would say probably once every six months once a year maybe um do you take supplements I do not um I'm assuming the question means hair supplements um, I did win a contest where I tried the um, main metabolism um, supplements from the main choice and I didn't necessarily see a difference in my hair. It was only a one month supply so um, I didn't see you know drastic results or anything. I have also tried um, the vitamin shop has a hair vitamin. Um, which I did try and I did see some length, um, some growth with those, but I am not currently taking any supplements and I haven't taken any probably in about two to three months. Um, what is your favorite oil? I would say my favorite oil is definitely coconut oil. Um, I'm a coconut fanatic. I just love the way it smells. I also love what it does for your hair. Um, it's one of the very few oils that actually penetrate your strands. Um, I love the way you can just, you know, that it's kind of a solid when you put it in your hand. But as soon as it gets a little bit of heat, it just melts down. Um, so, yeah, that's my favorite oil. Who's your hair crush? Mm, this one was a little bit hard. But being honest with myself and, of course, keeping it 100 with y'all, I have two, and my first hair crush is Ashley, Ashkin Curls, a.k.a. <laughs> Curly Pad. Um, I just love Ashley's hair. She has, like, the thickest head of hair almost that I have ever seen, and I just love that about her hair. It is so, so thick and so pretty. And she rocks, you know, because her hair is so thick, if she rocks twists, it looks really good. Her twist outs look awesome. Um, even when she has a bun, it's nice and full and beautiful. And her wash and goes are just gorgeous. So she's definitely my first hair crush. My other hair crush is Kelly and it's just Kelly 101. And I just love her hair. She has so much length. Um that I mean I just love her curls they're just beautiful um how long is your wash day eek um, 
really my wash day varies. It can be short or it can be long. Um, I try to stick to a regimen, um, you know, especially like when I'm detangling, if I use a conditioner or um, a detangler and I detangle my hair, or even if I use coconut oil, I like to leave it on my hair after my hair is detangled for a while, just so my hair can get those benefits soften up a little bit, get some moisture before I go ahead and, um, you know, cleanse my hair. Um, and then, you know, I deep condition every week. Also, when I leave my deep conditioner on for 30 to 45 minutes, um, and then style my hair, which does actually take a while. So I would say probably anywhere from, don't kill me people, two to five hours. Um, What's the worst thing that ever happened to your hair? I would say the worst thing that ever happened to my hair was several years ago when I was with my ex-husband and he wanted me to get braids and I got these micro braids and I'm sure you can tell right here how thin um, my edges are. And right here, that is from those braids. It basically broke my edges off and... I don't know. I'm praying the cuticle, uh, the follicle isn't damaged, but I really can't get, you know, hair to really grow right there. So that's the worst thing that ever happened to my hair. Do you dye your hair? Mm, unfortunately, I have. Um, I've dyed it twice since being natural. Um, very early on, I would say within like the first year, I dyed it and. Um, it was like a kit where you dye your hair red and then you do these really light red streaks, which did include, you know, bleaching your hair or whatever. And then I recently dyed my hair about two months ago um, and I actually just did henna over the weekend, which is why you see this bright red and the ends are bright red. So, yes. And who do you tag? Hmm. I am tagging Ashley, Ashkin Curls. And I'm going to tag Curly Girl Jess also. Um, I don't think she subscribed to my channel, so she may not see it. So if you follow her on social media, definitely um, let her know. And I also tag um, Tiandra. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I love you all. To all my new subscribers, thank you so much. I did say I would take my hair down. So let's see. Let's see, for the length. Uh, so, how long is my hair? This is the side, right here. You can see that. And this side. Sorry guys, I know this video is already long, but there's that side. The front. And I did get my hair cut all over, so it's definitely inches that came off all over. There's the front. Um, try to get the back here. And this is where the most of my length came off. It's right there. And I mean, the back of my hair used to come down here, guys. So, like armpit length, I guess. So that is my video. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.